It's my enormous pleasure to uh, introduce uh, your speaker tonight, uh, Professor uh, Engen Arsen, who was recently appointed uh, Professor of Citizenship and Director of the Centre for Citizenship, Identities and Governance in the Social Sciences Faculty. As most of you will be aware, the Centre is a university-designated centre of research excellence, the primary focus of which is to conduct and promote interdisciplinary research, dialogue and debate that will contribute to a greater understanding of the connections between notions of citizenship, processes of identity formation and practices of government uh, in the contemporary world. Professor Arsen joined the uh, OU after five years as Canada Research Chair and Professor in the Division of Social Science at York University in Toronto. His research was focused on the origins and transformations of Occidental citizenship as a political and legal institution that enables various ways of being political. He's author or, or joint author of many books, including Citizens, Cities Without Citizens, Modernity of the City as a Corporation, Citizenship and Identity with Pr Patricia Wood, and Being Political, Genealogies of Citizenship. His most recent books are co-edited with uh, Gerard Delante, Handbook of Historical Sociology, Handbook of Contemporary European Social Theory. He's also written numerous journal articles, book chapters, technical reports, and of course delivered many public lectures and editorials. Over the last few years, Professor Arsen has embarked on three different, though related, genealogical investigations, as he calls them. The first is concerned with two historical and significant gift-giving practices of governing cities, one being the Greek practice of um, eugergicism. Is that right? <laughs> Every now and again I come across a word I haven't come across before. It's the most chastening thing to happen. Um, the, second, uh, 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 the second practice is uh, Wakov uh, during the Ottoman Empire. The second stream explores the concepts of acts, especially as it pertains to those acts that constitute subjects as claimants of justice, as opposed to acts of violence uh, and objection. And the third looks at recasting the social in citizenship, focusing on bridging debates over redistribution and recognition. And I have to say those themes ran very true with me as somebody coming from South Africa out of a, uh, into a post-apartheid uh, um, dispensation where all those things uh, were talked about uh, as almost in everyday uh, discussion and a constant theme through, through a lot of our policy debates. Professor Arsen is also a founder member of two research networks, the History of the Present Network, which links more than 200 researchers actively seeking to use and develop the intellectual tools and approaches proposed by Michael Furkelt for the analysis of our present. And secondly, the Ottoman and Turkish Studies Network, which links more than 40 researchers whose work concerns citizenship in the Ottoman and Turkish history, as well as contemporary Turkey. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, without more ado, and I hope giving you a taste of, of what's to come, Professor Engen Arsen on Citizenship Studies and Agenda. Professor Arsen. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Chancellor uh, Gorley, for that introduction. I really uh, appreciated it. And also, I should start with some um, thanking. Um, since I have arrived at the Open University, I have been really very warmly welcomed, and it has been a wonderful six weeks, um, ranging from Wendy's uh, hospitality and also her guidance of the, uh, the center in the last couple of years. Uh, my um, colleagues in the Politics and International Studies Department, uh, they have been wonderful, as well as at the uh, center. So um, I have really, um, I have really just sort of got a glimpse of how rich social and cultural as well as intellectual life could be at the Open University, revolving around the center as well as the uh, and department. Now, to the agenda, agenda on citizenship studies. Let me just uh, do a little bit of explaining on um, 
the title. The title actually is the identical title of an article that my colleague Brian Turner and I have just published in the first issue of Citizenship Studies 2007. Um, what we did there together was not just simply just sort of take stock of our experience since the uh, Citizenship Studies Journal was founded 10 years ago. It was uh, Brian's idea uh, to found the journal, and I had just met him in 1995 in Berlin, and we had exchanged uh, email uh, after that, emails after that, and communication uh, ensued. And when he contacted me for the journal, I was, I was uh, delighted because I had been already working on citizenship since uh, early 1990s. Um, the uh, first book that was mentioned, Cities Without Citizens, goes back to my uh, PhD thesis, where, and interestingly, uh, really a, a history of non-citizenship, as it were, because it's the history of a colonial governmentality where uh, British authorities did not see fit to have citizenship rights for uh, subjects. So then the question was posed, the governmental question was posed as how to build cities without citizens. At least that's how I saw it, and that's how I uh, reflected on it. And um, at that time, really, we didn't have a clue. Maybe uh, Brian did. Unfortunately, he's not here to correct me on this. But I did not have a sense of being caught in a movement at all. I thought it was a good idea. I would love to be involved. Count me in kind of uh, response. Then it has grown. We started with three issues. I was organizing the North American uh, sort of uh, contingency, as it were. I had a North American editorial board working with them. Um, papers co started coming in. We ha had no idea what to do with that many papers, and I thought maybe this is what it means to edit a journal. So then we were just trying to deal with that. We figured that uh, our organizational structure didn't really suit that. We went up to four issues, and in a couple of years later, we went up to five issues, and we are going on to six issues per year. This reflects back on Tony's earlier question about, well, academics are not quite shy about the issue of citizenship. Uh, from, um, I was going to say right, left, center, but that's not true. Most left uh, to the citizenship studies, the contributions kept uh, coming. And, but it ranged from a variety of perspectives, variety of uh, ways of thinking about it, and variety of uh, methods associated with citizenship. So constantly we actually had to deal with the issue of in what way this particular um, uh, article, manuscript, constitutes citizenship or being about citizenship. It's something that on a day-to-day -day basis we had to face. And on one hand, we have very strong affinities about not to draw boundaries too tight around citizenship because we want um, a diversity of uh, perspectives, approaches, and so on. But on the other hand, there has to be a coherent object so that the journal maintains its uh, coherence as an intellectual enterprise, an intellectual project. What I want to do, and what we partially do in the article we publish, and you will find that article actually in your kits, in your, um, uh, we inserted them, uh, so it's available. So I'm not going to go through the same uh, ground, partly because my colleague is not here, and it would have been nice for us to do it together, and partly because I want to just sort of give you a sense of what I have learned in the last 10 years. So in, in a sense, um, title and the talk, don't quite exactly match. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the past rather than the future. But hopefully that's going to give a sense of the kind of work that I am interested in doing and the kind of work that I find most sort of exciting aspect of citizenship studies. Now, it's going to it's, it's, it's going to be also quite relevant to those of you who have participated in the two panels that um, that we ran earlier, and I'm going to struggle through some of those issues, the relationship between citizenship and identity, uh, identity and identities, uh, governance, security.